Hello everybody, this is Matteo Giza from University of Padua. Today we are going to talk about some emerging therapies that are being studied for eosinophilic esophagitis. As we know, EOE is a chronic disease characterized by symptoms of esophageal dysfunction. From a pathogenic point of view, EOE presents a TLPR2 mediated esophageal inflammation that is triggered by food antigens. Then, eosinophils are recruited in the esophagus. Instead, IgE seems to present only a marginal role. The growing prevalence of EOE and the presence of a percentage of patients unable to reach the histological remission with the available therapies have generated an enormous interest in the pharmaceutical companies for the development of new drugs. Despite EOE is an allergic disease that shares many aspects with other TLPR2 diseases, the effect of anti-allergic drugs treatments on EOE have been disappointing. Chromoline, a mast cell stabilizer, has been tested. A recent randomized clinical trial of viscous formulation of chromoline didn't highlight any significant improvement of esophageal eosinophilia and clinical symptoms. In the same way, Montlucast, a leukotriene D4 receptor blocker, was ineffective in inducing both histological and clinical remission of EOE patients. Also, antibodies against IgE have been tested. A prospective trial with omalizumab did not reduce symptoms or tissue as, as an office count in adults with EOE compared with placebo. More interestingly, this study highlighted a possible role of IgG4 in the pathogenesis of EOE. IL5 has a central role in the maturation process of eosinophils. The IL-5 blockers mobilizumab and roslizumab were tested in EOE patients through randomized clinical trials involving both children and adults, but unfortunately, neither of them was superior to placebo in terms of symptom relief. Moreover, although a significant decrease in esophageal eosinophilia, histological remission wasn't achieved. Instead, Benralizumab is an antibody against the AL5 receptor that has been approved for the treatment of eosinophilic asthma. Despite it has not been evaluated in EOE yet, an ongoing trial is investigating its efficacy and safety in eosinophilic gastroenteritis. EL14 is a TLPR2 cytokine that plays a central role in several eosinophilic inflammatory disorders, including EOE. Two monoclonal antibodies targeting EL14 have been evaluated in EOE through phase 2 trials. The first antibody led to a significant decrease in eosinophilic count, but without histological remission, no significant improvement in this phase of severity. Considering RPC4046, after 16 weeks, there was a significant reduction in eosinophils, also with half of patients having less than 15 eosinophils per high power field. Regarding symptoms improvement, results from the open label extension phase showed a sustained symptomatic improvement along with continuative histological remission at week 52. And this is the best hope for the near future. The Pilomab is a monoclonal antibody direct against the IL-4 receptor, so it stops both IL-4 and IL-13 pathways. It has been already approved for asthma and atopic dermatitis. In the phase 2 study, 23 patients underwent a 12 weeks therapy with one subcutaneous injection per week of 300 mg of the Pilomab. Considering the primary endpoint, there was a significant improvement of Strauman dysphagia instrument score after 10 weeks. Also, the secondary aims, namely the improvement of histological and endoscopic scores, were achieved. Moreover, the Pilumab increased esophageal sensibility measured by Antflip. Now, it is ongoing the phase 3 trial.